Yo guys, I'm going to be taking a look at 10 classic iOS games. Let's get right into it. So, these are just my opinions of very classic iOS games that I played in my past and will continue to play just because of how much fun they are. So first is a classic Subway Surfs. I think everyone has played this game at least once in their life, but I could be wrong, you never know. <laughs> anyway, and it's the classic... Why can I... Okay, much better. Tap to start and then you just dodge everything. You kind of get the point. It's kind of simple. Played many games like this if you ever had an iOS device. If not, I suggest you get one. <laughs> All the Android people going crazy. I have both, by the way, so. You get the point. I mean, you complete daily objectives. You get certain power-ups and so on and so forth, and you die by stopping. You can save yourself all that jazz, and then you compete against other people, have high scores, try to beat your own personal score, and all that stuff. It's a really good game. Suggest you get it, or at least have played it once in your life. And then another game similar to that, but I think maybe even more popular, I've seen more people play this, is Temple Run. There's Temple Run 2 also, which I'm just gonna take a look at the, the first one. I've actually never, have I ever had this game on this device? I had it on others. It's a very, very classic. I mean, you swipe, oh, and of course I just died because I'm terrible. Anyway, it's very classic, easy to, easy to learn. Yeah, easy to learn game. It goes pretty quick. I used to have this, like my brother used to have this game when I was little and I used to play it all the time. Yeah, you kind of get the point. It's kind of like similar you die by, not... Okay, that's enough of that game. So then for game number three is an older game. Definitely old. I don't, maybe not. But I just remember this, like one of the very first apps. I should see when it has... When you can play it on the first iOS device. It's very simple. You just go up, try to get some power-ups, try to get as high as you can. And it's pretty simple. Zoom that out for you because you can't quite see it. And then you just tilt your device to play. See, and then you just go like that. Very simple and easy game to play. And then you die by just falling and you try to beat your old score and other people. It's pretty simple, pretty fun, pretty simplistic. And then a very classic game is Crossy Road. You can play it this way also. Could be wrong though. I don't know. We're just gonna keep in portrait mode for now. And yeah, it's pretty simple. Here, wait a minute. I think, yeah, okay, you can go sideways. You just tap to jump across. It's pretty simple. And then you can just make it the whole way and see how far you can get. And you don't wanna get hit by anything. Then you just swipe. Gotta watch out for trains and stuff. It's pretty fun, actually. It's a great time waster. Not saver, waster. Is that even a word? Who knows? And then you can just keep going across. Oh, and see, I died. You can get free gifts and stuff like that. And you can buy. Buy, buy characters to jump across and then it's just an easy fun game to play and so I th don't know if they're made by the same company if they could or couldn't I forget but then another classic smashy road this game is more of a yeah see I'm 99 years old and so oh, that's pretty bright focus master <laughs> okay Nope. So I think it's pretty easy. There yeah, you go left, right, and you just try to run from the cops and stuff. And you try to destroy things. And then, yeah. Pretty simple. I guess it's fun. Never got really into it. Not, never was a really big fan of it, but I know people who play it a lot are really good. And they play it a lot. I see, I don't really know what I'm doing. And then you get arrested. 
that's pretty much what you do. You just go around and you can win cars and stuff, get cash, more cash. And so, that's a pretty fun game, but another classic, and I sometimes hate this game because I can't beat other people's scores. Great game to play with other people if you're in play games like this. Okay, stack, it's so, so easy. As the title, you just stack things up. And each time you miss a little bit, it takes it off. I'm not a professional at this. And so you get pretty thin, and then it gets the whole way up, and then you have your best, and you can compete with other people and all that stuff. And it's a great game to play with friends. If other people have it, then you can have like competitions. You can get the most like right in a row, which is pretty fun, I guess. And then on to really classic games. I mean, when iOS first came out. Okay, I take that back. But <laughs> I have no idea. But Angry Birds, oh, classic game, classic loading screen. You'd wait on your iPod, fourth generation, third generation. You know, you just wait. Load up all these classic tutorials of the first mission. It's pretty simple, pretty fun. I think everyone should play this in their life. I think everyone has played this in their life. That's weird. This screen <laughs> makes a weird pattern. Whatever. And you have your score, you can compete with other people. I think. That, that might just be on Facebook though. I used to play this as a kid a lot when I was on Facebook. Not that I had Facebook, but I used to play it on Facebook. And so you just do levels. It's simple, fun, and I think everyone has played this though. But it's a really good classic game. Then you have a bunch of Angry Birds other things. Yeah, there's so many. Angry Birds Space and Star Wars and all that stuff. Just simple. Simple, easy. Okay, so that's that. And then another really classic app that probably came out just as Angry Birds was Fruit Ninja. This is a free version though. And not all these, I think, um, Doodle Jump you have to pay for, 99 cents, but that's not too bad. It's a great game. Great time waster. Saver? <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, okay. This game, I remember the original version. Now it has like this, all these characters and stuff. Yeah. Oops. We're just gonna play. Yep. I think everyone knows how to play this game. Just swipe to cut the fruit. Simple. Fun. You can get combos. You get pretty fast at this game and you get if you play the one version. You don't everyone is, I guess. I'm just explaining it. But you shouldn't hit the bombs. You can swipe through multiple fruits at once. And yeah, pretty, pretty easy, pretty fun. I, I would still enjoy this game, actually. I think everyone should. I think everyone has played this at least once also. And then the way you lose is you just let fruit fall. One, two, and three, and that's game over. And then you just see how as far as you can go. So it's pretty fun. You get like these star things and it adds up to here. Increase level like I just did there. And so it's, it's easy and it's very fun and there's also a this is the free version but there is also a paid version which is either i forget what it is but I'll, I'll have it on screen right now and then we have a game i don't think it's as popular but wait, what's it called I just flick home run and so it's like a baseball game but oh crashed okay this game is, I think, 99 cents, could be wrong, but it's a very, very fun game to play. So, what you play is you click pitch, I'm gonna have to use two hands, and then the baseball comes, and you just hit it, and see how far. 
and you get more points for home run as I just did there and yeah out of the ballpark and so you get points like this you juice up here for each pitch and there's different baseballs and stuff like you know, once you come up and you can also you have this is a normal one and so it's, it's pretty easy it's easy to learn how to play and you, you have power-ups and all that stuff so that's also really fun and you have different levels this should be a different one now you can see. yeah see there's different ones this one i think goes low yeah it's further to hit i think but i could be wrong yeah well anyway it's a nice fun game and then a classic to do with friends is the moron test <laughs> I think everyone has, I think everyone's seen this or played one of these. Okay, so you, okay, yeah, so old school, no. and it's pretty, pretty, okay, add, add time. Oh great, so it's, it's like an IQ test pretty much, so press the red button, button, <laughs> and then, okay, this, this, this. So red, blue, green, and then orange. Oh, yeah, see, I failed. So you can do it over. You can play with other people. It's it's quite fun. I mean, as in you give it to somebody else and see how far they can get. Okay, so I'm gonna get this. Yeah, so largest to smallest. And it equals. No, it equals 9. Well, anyway, it's a fun game to play. I suggest you get it. So, thanks everyone for watching this 10 classic iOS games. I will have more coming out. And these are just my opinions, by the way. I mean, you probably have other games like Jetpack Joyride. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Anyway. I will have more other iOS classic games and other top 10 iOS games coming out later. And so be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.